What's going on guys, Shound here, and today we are going to be talking about the fact that Call of Duty Modern Warfare will not feature a minimap, you know, on default. What that means is that the only way to use your minimap or see your minimap is three different ways, a UAV and a kind of an advanced UAV and like a Blackbird. So basically, the UAV is just like, I think how it's gone about is it's more personalized so only you will see it. The next two UAV variations later on in Coast Chic will, you know, they will show you like you know where they are to the whole team and then where they are to the whole team directional wise on the mini map now besides that there is no other way you can have a mini map and for what i've heard i think the reaction to this is kind of absurd so yes i have not played this game yet obviously because i am not invited to these events i am not a you know whatever i don't have that type of privilege to get invited to these events and there's nothing wrong with that so certainly my opinions right now are definitely subject to change but from what I've played when it comes to games without mini maps I personally love it a certain sandstorm is a phenomenal thing it's obviously a more realistic game but you know I like no mini map I kind of get annoyed when games are focused around looking at the mini map waiting for that dot and then running to that dot battlefield 4 and battlefield 3 were like that but they removed spotting in battlefield 5 clearly in terms of how I enjoy the game of not always looking at the minimap, I enjoy it a lot more. Granted, yes, there is still a minimap on screen, but you're not looking for these dots and stuff like that. Now, do I honestly think people's reactions to this are getting absurd? Now, getting into that, you know, I'm going to kind of specifically point out T. Martin's video because this is the one that kind of made me see that this is an issue. Now, there's nothing wrong with what he said. It's He's definitely definitely subject to his opinion I, you know he played it i have not played it but he said and i'm pretty much going to kind of quote it i will not be playing this game if there's no mini map that in my opinion is a little absurd now what does this mean that means you're basing the whole game the whole design philosophy of the game based off of something you're so used to for the past 10 years yes call of duty has had a mini map for the last 10 years it is standard to see a mini map on either the top left or the bottom left i think one game was bottom left corner like you you need to see that you have uh, mini map you need to see it if you didn't it was awkward and you know it was crazy it's like what the hell is going on now in hardcore obviously there was no mini map and you know obviously there was a good hardcore audience out there so i'm pretty sure hardcore people are gonna love the fact that there's no mini map in core they might even play core for that reasons but you know we'll time only time will tell i honestly think it's fantastic yes some of the issues they brought up is uav spamming you know not knowing where your teammates are going to be no not no understanding the map two of these things are easily preventable uav spamming you know guess what shoot down the uavs bring down the rockets shoot down that uav you know i did it in mono warfare 2 not that hard i think you can counter uavs pretty simply like you know just shoot it down it's it's a fix yes oh but i always got to shoot it down to you know stop all those other things well, it is what it is. It's part of the game. You want to stop them from having counterintelligence, run a counter UAV. You know what I'm saying? There's different ways, different play styles, and it really doesn't bother me if someone's spamming UAVs. You can run Ghost. Hell, maybe you just decide to, you know, shoot them down. Again, another thing too with this UAV spamming is that there's a lot of good kill streaks in this game, unlike recent Call of Duties. I've seen almost all the kill streaks that they have or have been shown through YouTube videos, and they look phenomenal. They look meaningful, and even if there is no mini map, I don't even think I'm going to be running a UAV. I might run a cruise missile, an AC-130, you know, like stuff like that. I like stuff like that. I don't think I can. I think I could sacrifice that mini map for these type of kill streaks. Now, one thing to remember, guys, about this change is that Infinity Ward has gone through a very lucrative process of this developing this game. Now, unlike recent Call of Duties where they kind of felt like they've been pushing them out. Again, I could be wrong about this. This is still Call of Duty, nonetheless, an annual push. They have a new engine. They want it to be more realistic, a lot more immersive. Not realistic in the term of Milsim, but a lot more slower pace and feel like it's a realistic take on a modern warfare era war, per se. So, the fact that there's no mini-map really slows things down, and I think one of the issues I had with Call of Duty and kind of why I like Battlefield and Rainbow Six Siege so much more is that every action needs a thought. Call of Duty, you just run around. I see somebody, I see someone on a mini-map, I shoot them. And for me, that style of game is getting old, and I think a no mini-map approach to just the core playlist of just Call of Duty multiplayer in general will not only, you know, add a different skill gap when it comes to map knowledge knowing where you know choke points are 
there's obviously we'll get into a video about this later but you know the maps are designed a lot differently than the three lane maps and there's introducing power power positions like they were back in modern warfare you know three lanes are kind of being gone they want people to have these power positions they kind of you know talked about the maps and i think having a no mini map approach definitely definitely pushes that agenda and what they're trying to go for with this game now again I really didn't want to be negative about like you know Team Martin or like any other people that made negative comments about you know no minimap. Again, their thoughts. They played the game. I have not played the game, so they definitely have their right to opinion. They might not like it, but to say that I'm not gonna play this game as much if there's no minimap, I think is a little bit ridiculous. I say give it a month or two, see how it flows, see if the game and your you know your knowledge of the maps improve that experience of no minimap. But that's pretty much all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Modern Warfare coverage this whole weekend. We got killstreaks. We got maps to talk about. Maybe even a breakdown of the gunsmith. I got to see where I can fit that in. I had other videos planned, so I didn't really think about doing all these videos. But I pushed them all to the side to focus on these news. These, you know, little updates we're getting with Modern Warfare. Not little updates. Significant updates we're getting with Modern Warfare. That's pretty much all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more from me. Till next time, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Shanaji here. And I'm out.